Evolutionary trees show evolutionary relationships between different species that have common ancestry. The tree is a timeline of events. The time can represent thousands or even millions of years. The base of the tree is a common ancestor to all of the other organisms represented. Species in the present time are alive today and are adapted to the modern environmental conditions. Branches that end in the past represent species that have gone extinct. Splitting branches represent speciation, or the evolution of different species. This represents populations that diverged and became physically and behaviorally different from one another. For example, species 2 is a modern bird that continued on from an ancestral population in the past. But two other species diverged from this ancestral population as well. Species 7, which went extinct, and species 8, which is alive today. The point where two branches meet represents a common ancestor. The most recent common ancestor between any two species is the point where they connect on a tree. The most recent common ancestor of species 5 and 6 is species 4. The most recent common ancestor of species 5 and 2 is species 1. The closer the connection on the tree, the more closely related two species are. Is 5 more closely related to 3 or 6? The common ancestor to 5 and 3 is the ancestral population of 3 that they branched from. But 5 and 6 have a more recent common ancestor, species 4. This makes 5 more closely related to 6. This also means that 5 and 6 would be more genetically similar. If you go back far enough on the tree of life, you'll see that all species share a common ancestor.